Hello again. Today I wanted to talk about mental fatigue. It's when you have been so overloaded with emotions and overloaded with uh, hypervigilance that your body starts to exhibit signs of just being tired. And you feel like you need to just sleep. <laughs> um, <clears throat> one of the reasons I'm bringing this up today is that I have been feeling that way. I'm just tired. And this time of year is very, very difficult for me. And I've been trying very hard to stay busy. But it's not easy for me. A couple weeks ago, my older sister, one of my older sisters, went through a friend of mine to get in touch with me. And I was so pissed that I did the wrong thing and I responded to her and I'm still pissed about it because in the email that she sent me or the email that she sent my friend she forwarded it to me she said that she would respect my wishes if I didn't want contact but when I sent her a reply and said you know I think what you did was very rude that you're dragging people into this please just leave me alone she responded very angrily and she didn't respect my wishes and this whole big fiasco happened and I think it would have been much better if it hadn't been this time of year. I wouldn't have reacted. Uh, for some of you who know, um, September, well, like mid-August to mid-November, um, these are very triggering parts of, of, my, of my life. Having, having that email come at at this time I haven't had contact with my family in four years some of them much longer and it just irks my soul that even after all this time they would still keep trying and what's funny is I recently told my therapist I said that they're gonna keep trying no matter no matter how much time I spend away from them they will keep trying to be in contact, to be in my life, no matter no matter what I do, they're always going to try. And I was telling Melissa this, and she said, I, I think you're giving them way too much credit that, that you know, I, I don't think that they're going to try. And then, lo and behold, there it was. So that combined with this time of year, I'm just tired. And I'm more hypervigilant than usual. It's like normally, like if this is like the normal scale, I'm usually up here all the time. And so this time of year, I would be up here. I really hate being like this. I hate being, I hate trying to be strong when there are days when I just don't want to be. And I hate that I can't work right now. And I'm still trying to get my business up and going. I'm still trying to work on the house. I'm still trying to leave the house so that I can help fix up my friend's house. And just I'm trying to work on my stories and I'm trying to keep up with my blog and and I want to keep doing the videos and just all of this stuff combined I just start shutting down and I start withdrawing and I just want to be by myself me and the gang and I just want to isolate and just not be bothered by anything 
but I know that I've put myself into a position where I can't just not function. <laughs> I owe a lot to Melissa. And we just celebrated, just a few days ago, we celebrated our one year wedding anniversary where we're, we're legally married and we spent it with uh, Amanda and, and her mom and it was such a good time and I was over at, at Amanda's house the other day trying to help her move some things around and I had a panic attack. Now the good thing about having a friend who also has panic attacks is that she had a Xanax for me and I knew that I would not be able to leave the house to go get Melissa because um, I had to drop her off at work and then drive to Amanda's, but I knew that I would not be able to go get Melissa later. But the good thing is she's able to work from home. So she, she, you know, Melissa said that she would work from home and it was okay, and I went and got her, and I had to have her drive home. I was just so far beyond functioning. I'm tired of being messed up. I just want to be well. And I'm pissed at my family because they're the ones that caused the mental illness. And I keep telling myself that it's okay to be pissed off. And it is. It is okay to be pissed off by the people who caused all the fuckery in your life. And I'm freaking out, too, because I've lost so much weight now. None of my clothes fit none of them and I have to wear a belt with my pants and I hate belts because that was something that my mom used to use I'm not giving up that's not in my nature I don't like giving up I will always try I don't know how much weight I've lost I don't keep track of it and I don't I don't weigh myself because I wear my weight as an armor and losing weight is just not something I look forward to. But there you go. That is my that is my time this last month or so. And don't worry. I'll be back full steam and and it'll be great. And I hope you guys are well. Just remember that when you start feeling like this, to take time for yourself is your body's way of saying we need to take some time for ourselves. One moment at a time, one day at a time. Don't try to rush too much and take care of yourself, okay? And I will see you guys very soon.